Well, thank you to Coindesk for reporting that Board Ape Yacht Club team raises $285 million with other side NFTs. Clogs, Ethereum. Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Cointos, the 411, where we try to bring you the latest in crypto and NFT news. So sit back and let's get it. After much ado, Yuga Labs held its long-awaited digital land sale on Saturday evening, a public debut for its other side, Metaverse Project. While the resulting land rush generated roughly $285 million for the company, it also created some of the highest gas fees in the history of the Ethereum network. Investors have spent over $176 million on fees alone in the past 24 hours. Other side is the biggest project launch yet from the company best known for creating the Board 8 Yacht Club. NFT, non-fungible token, collection. During the last night's sale, traders snapped up a limited supply of 55,000 other deeds NFTs, which represent titles to plots of virtual land in a forthcoming 3D social space. They cost about 7,000 each and were only available for purchase in ApeCoin, Yuga Labs' official cryptocurrency. On secondary marketplaces like OpenSea, the cheapest listed price for an other deed was around 7 ETH, roughly $19,000 at publication time. In a tweet from Hustler, I just paid $14,000 in gas to mint four other deeds for other side. I'm going to go throw up now. The night was a win for the firm, which previously raised $450 million from venture capital gains, Andreessen Horowitz, and kind of slow-burning disaster from everyone else. The other side raised was worth even more last night, around $320 million, but the value of Ape has since fallen. The company issued a public apology in the wake of the fee-related chaos. This has been the largest NFT mint in history by several multiples, and yet the gas used during the mint shows that demand for exceeding anyone's wildest expectations. Reads a statement posted to Twitter, We're sorry for tuning off the lights on Ethereum for a while. The statement also gestures at the ideal of refunding traders' gas fees, though it's not yet clear what that process would look like. The average fee for an Ethereum transaction typically scales with the overall congestion on the network when the traders scramble for the same tokens at the same time. Prices go up for everyone. It's a phenomenon known as the gas war. Users compete to have their transactions processed at the top of the miner's queue. Per a bespoke calculator on the blockchain data site Dune Athlet Analytics, the average gas price was hovering around 800 guay early Sunday morning. With spikes in the realm of 6000 and 7000 during these waves, a simple transaction, say sending a few dollars worth of crypto to a friend, could cost upwards of $3,000. In a tweet by Molly White, the best thing about crypto is that it will eliminate those fees we have to pay to banking middlemen. The expensive evening threw into question Ethereum's long-term viability as a host for large-scale NFT projects. Yuga Labs even floated the idea of building its own dedicated blockchain at the end of its apology thread. It seems abundantly clear that ApeCoin will need to migrate to its own chain in order to properly scale. We'd like to encourage the DAO to start thinking in this direction. Of course, the firm has taken great pains to assert that it doesn't actually control the ApeCoin DAO. Maybe it can donate some of last night's windfall to the cause. How do you feel about the gas fees? Did you try to buy other deeds? How was your experience and what kind of fee did you pay? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you for watching. And remember, I am not a financial or investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. So if you enjoy this content, do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Until next time.